Do not adjust your device. This is actually what occurred. <laughs> this was an upset. I mean an upset. ASU had lost 11 in a row. USC number seven in the RPI. There certainly was some strength from Brooke Botkin, the sophomore, who had missed some time with a concussion. In the end, she had 16 kills and 10 digs, a true talent for USC. Yeah, and she did do a great job. She was an offensive threat for them. She was good from the back row. She was good from the front row. But overall, it just wasn't enough to push USC to the victory. And if you love stories, you have to think about Botkin's old teammate because you couldn't draw it up any better than Elise Ford transfers from USC and has the game of her life with 25 kills. Yeah, absolutely. And this is what every athlete wants whenever they're competing against their old team. Elise was so good from every position in the court. She was jumping higher than we'd ever seen her jump higher before. She looked so good in warm-ups and it translated exceptionally well here today. She only had eight miscues. She hit 405 and then the wall at the net for ASU. 11 team blocks and six individual for Anthue, five for Yeramich. Yeah, and Carmen was super physical today, as all the blockers were. They were pushing low and over, their eye work was critical, and they were making some great reads against this USC tough, tough offense to stop. A spectacular day for ASU as you take a look at the numbers. Don't, like, reset your device <laughs> right now. Don't, you know, call in anyone to fix your laptop. That's what occurred. And maybe, just maybe, for ASU, it's a little winning streak to the end of the season.